Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a formula manipulation problem involving kinetic energy and momentum. So we'll take a look at this problem here shown in the upper left hand corner here. It says show that kinetic energy and momentum are the momentum magnitude of a particle with mass k equals p squared over 2m. Um, so pretty much what it's asking is saying like show um, that kinetic energy is equal to momentum and show that this formula is true. So this is pretty easy. Uh, if you're familiar with algebra, I'm pretty sure you can handle it. Um, if you know the formulas for kinetic energy and momentum, kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and momentum is simply the mass times the velocity. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see like, okay, how can I manipulate it to look like um, how it wants us to show here, p squared over 2m. Well, what you can do is you can solve the momentum equation and solve for v, and you get v equals p over m. Um, and you simply plug v in, uh, you plug v in and as p over m, so you substitute the variable. Um, and then you notice you square, p, so you get p squared and m squared, um, and when you pretty much simplify it, you get the equation there. So we just pretty much proved, or verified, I should say, um, the equation that they want us to solve. Now we're going to actually use this equation for the next part it asks. It wants us to compare a cardinal and a baseball to see if they have the same kinetic energy. So it says, yes, they have the same kinetic energy. Um, show it, though. Uh, it's based off momentum, I think it wants to have, which has greater momentum. So here's the masses. Mass of the bird is, or I should say, mass of the cardinal is C, and mass of the B is the ball. Um, so those are the masses. But let's deal with the formulas. So simply using what we solved for for A, um, you'll have the two kinetic energies equal to one another. Now we're interested in the ratio of momentum, so let's solve for one momentum, let's say the momentum of the baseball. Um, so what I did was I multiplied 2m to both sides, but remember the m's are different, so the 2's would cancel, but the m's would stay the same. Then I get uh, p squared, and I simply take the square root, um, so that would the ratio of masses would stay under the radical, but the square root of p squared is just p. Um, and then simply plug in the numbers that we were given, and you get uh, the ratio um, is 1 to 1.9, or you show the true ratio, um, which is 0.526. So the question is, which has more momentum? Um, well, this is saying that the ratio of the um, cardinal and the ball is half as great as the baseball. Um, so in other words, the baseball has more momentum. Um, it, almost twice as much, uh, pretty much. So you can see that by the ratio. Now we'll move on to the part C, where you have a two people, one man, one woman, different weights, but they have the same momentum. So set the momentums equal to each other. Uh, but the question is, who has a greater kinetic energy? Well, we're going to use that same formula um, for the one in part A that we dealt with. So here's the formula that we have, and let's solve for momentum, so P. Solve for P, you get square root of 2M times the kinetic energy. Um, so what you do is you set the two uh, momentums equal to each other. Notice how they would both be under the square root. I already squared both sides. I kind of took a quick step. So you're setting P equal to P. Um, and then you are squaring both sides to get rid of the square root. Now we're going to have to solve for a variable now. Or the ratio, excuse me. So solve for KE equals KE. Um, but remember, this is the kinetic energy of the man and the kinetic energy of the woman. So what you do... Um, I'm solving for the kinetic energy of the man in this case. Um, so I divided by 2m, uh, and 2mm, I guess you could say, both sides. And then um, you get the ratio of the masses times the kinetic energy of the woman. And then you plug the numbers in. And then you can also solve for the ratio, and you get the, these, uh, this fraction here, or this decimal. Uh, so pretty much what, what is it saying? Who has greater kinetic energy? Well, it would be the woman. She would have greater kinetic energy. So that's pretty much that part. So in summary, pretty much we figured out when there's two, when the kinetic energy are equal to one another, the more massive it is, the more momentum it has. Um, so that's kind of how, how it kind of goes there. But that's for momentum. Uh, and if they have equal momentum then you could say that they, the, the, the less massive one would have the greater kinetic energy. Um, that's what we figured out in Part C. 
Uh, so that's pretty much that problem here. It took about five minutes, so I thought it would just be a good variable fiddle around kinetic energy, momentum, and how they relate. So keep doing your physics, guys.